Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you my most repurchased products in 2022. The skincare that I bought at least 10 times and apply to my skin almost every single day. I think one of the biggest criticisms leveled at content creators here on YouTube is that we cycle through products too frequently. I know there's always a new launch that you're excited to try, but honestly, I'm pretty standard and boring when it comes to my skincare choices. I tend to use the same holy grails day in, day out, because when it comes to skincare, consistency is key and I kind of want to demonstrate that in today's video. So sit back, relax, let's talk my most repurchased skincare. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know what your single most repurchased skincare item of the past 12 months has been. I want to know product name, the number of units bought, and sound off in the comments section below. We've, before we delve into things proper, just a quick reminder to say, if you haven't already, if you could reach down and give this video a thumbs up and a like. I don't personally measure my worth and success in life based on the number of likes I get, because let's be honest, that would not be healthy. But unfortunately, YouTube still does. And until that changes, we kind of need to play the algorithm game. The more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube YouTube distributes it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, just thank you to each and every one of you that takes that small moment out of your day to like the content I create here on the channel. Now I've got quite a few products to get through, so let's just cut that waffle and delve straight on in. Now let's kick things off with an eye cream. You know what, I'm really, really proud of the products that I've got here because they're all so affordable and drugstore, which I always knew I was cheap. I am drugstore to my core, but when I look at the products that I've purchased most frequently according to my records, I'm actually pleased that none of them actually break the bank. There's nothing bougie to be seen here. And my favourite eye cream of the year went to this. This is the Revolution Skincare Pigment Correcting Intense Eye Cream. A ridiculously long name. Don't worry, you don't need to type that into Google. I've left links to all the products mentioned in today's video in the description box below. If you wanted to shop them for yourselves, check the reviews, read the ingredients, all that good stuff. So I've actually bought 14 of these in the past year. Now, that wasn't all for me. I actually am such a big fan of this. I bought quite a few for friends and family, giving them away. I said, look, try this you will love it. I'm wearing it today, it just glides on the eye, it doesn't trigger those melia, you know, the little white bumps that sometimes we can experience, and it hydrates the eye area to the gods. Gently enough to be used on the eyelid and under the eye, and it gives you that really intense pigment correction that we all crave. Get rid of those dark marks, those dark circles and discoloration, but also in the long term can help eradicate puffiness, fine lines and wrinkles. It's just a holy grail product. It's six pounds. So it's a really, really nice, with, you know, the holiday season coming up. I know a lot of people don't want to talk about that yet, and I get it. I'm the sort of person that's celebrating Christmas from like August onwards. But this is a really nice like stocking filler kind of product, which is what I think I'm going to put a few more on order for, because it'll just work for everyone. It's got a really, really nice colour to it. It goes on almost, can you see, it almost has a vague, like, yellowiness, like, wheaty colour to it. But you blend it in, it disappears, and just leaves behind a gentle colour correction, lots of hydration, and some long-term skincare benefits. I love this, and everyone that I've gifted it to has also said how amazing it is. So we want to spread that message out there loud and clear. Don't ever pay for your eye cream. Just get a couple of these on order, you will absolutely love it. Now, the next product, I've actually bought 10 of all in one go. And I wouldn't normally recommend people do that because I think, you know, buying in bulk when there's a discount is great, but it can also lead to waste. So always like, bear in mind, am I actually going to get through this, look at the expiry dates and all that good stuff. But I broke that rule with one product and it's this. This is the Islamide HA Blur. So this has actually been discontinued and it's my favourite, favourite primer. I use it for like a multitude of different things in my skincare routine. And so I didn't want to be without it. Destin were like clearing the shelves and the stock and so gave everyone a 50% off, which I think is still running. If you use the code that's in the description box below with the link. I think you get 50% off this if there is any stock wherever in the world you happen to live. I love it. So I put 10 on order and you know what? The use by expiry dates are really, really good. So I'll definitely, definitely get through them. So I use this in two ways. I use it just, you know, on those areas where I do have some large pores. It kind of blurs it all down, which I love. Gives you that little confidence boost. But this is a holy grail. If you've got a sunscreen that you love, but on certain areas of the face, it comes across a little bit more greasy than you'd like it to. Put your sunscreen on, let it sit for like two minutes and sink in, and then put a tiny amount of this over those areas where you are a little bit greasiness prone, and it just mattifies everything down all day long. I love the beauty of Joe's sunscreen that I'm actually coming onto in a minute. Works beautifully for my skin, but on my nose, it kind of starts to break apart and looks a little bit greasy by about midday, and then you try and reapply over that, it becomes a hot mess. Just put this over the top of the sunscreen after it's sunk in, and it'll just mattify everything down, and you can still reapply over the top of it without it boiling 
pilling all over the place. It's the only product I found that actually does that and it's just such a holy grail which is why I bought so many of them this year and hopefully they'll last me another 12 months. We've mentioned it so let's talk about it. The beauty of Joseon Rice Relief Sunscreen. Um, I find this is like my absolute holy grail favourite sunscreen. I'm actually launching my own sunscreen in the next month so there's more information about that in the description box below. So I am actually transitioning onto that which is what I'm wearing on the skin today but you know my holy grail for the past 12 months proper has been this product. So the reason I love 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 this is it just kind of works for my skin type. It hydrates alongside giving the protection so I can use this as my moisturizer and sun cream in one which I really love. I can eliminate a step and streamline things down and it doesn't irritate the eyes. It glides like it's just an absolute holy grail. Now one tube of this will probably last me about 10 days so I do always make sure I apply enough to the skin to get that maximum coverage and I reapply it where I need to so always bear that in mind but yeah one tube of this will probably last me about 10 days so I do buy about three a month which you know what is quite a lot but it doesn't come with a super high price point so I'm always appreciative of that when I created my own sunscreen I made it as a 100 mil option rather than the 50 mil so it'll last like the full month rather than this because the thing that really does frustrate me is it comes in a small packaging size so you're constantly repurchasing it but I do because I absolutely love it and more importantly my skin loves it now there's two products from Geek and Gorgeous in this list and this is the Stressless Serum and the A Game Retinol. Now both of these last me exactly one month, almost to the day. So I know that I bought 12 over the past year. So the Stressless Serum is like my holy grail for minimizing any acne scarring and hyperpigmentation. I think when we're talking like hyperpigmentation and discoloration, we always go to like treatment. But I think us with a lot of things, prevention is like better than the cure. So if you can use a serum which calms any inflammation, any irritation in the skin, then it's going to be less likely to hyperpigment if you do get a, you know, a breakout or you get any zits. And that's definitely been my experience with this product. It's got O extract, metacasticide in here, the beta glucans, calms, soothes and eliminates inflammation in the skin. So it's just an all out holy grail. Um, I tend to use this in my morning skincare routine, but you can use it morning and evening. It kind of all comes down to personal preference. Then the A Game 10 is one of the highest strength retinol based products you can get over the counter. And it's also like 14 pounds. <laughs> like, if you compare and contrast this to like the Medicaid Crystal Retinol 10, which is like 100 pounds, it's quite a big price difference and it's basically the same product. I love it. I use this every other day because I alternate it with Differin, Adapalene, which really helps with my adult acne and breakouts. I use, the, I would say like every other day this will last a month. So if you're using this nightly, you'll probably want two a month, so bear that in mind. But both of these I've ordered at least 12 times in the past 12 months. Now I've got two other products I'm going to mention. This is the Lacura Coenzyme Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Um, it's actually a little bit of a cheat to include this in this list because this product changed its packaging and it said it had a new improved formulation around halfway through the year. But I think if I look back at the old formulation and the new one added together, I bought more than 10 units of this and I really, really enjoy it. It's packed full of my favourite antioxidant, Coenzyme Q10, and this costs £1.99 at Aldi stores here in the UK. I also double checked and you can get this in Aldi stores in Denmark, you can get it in Sweden and Ireland. So if you're in any of those countries, definitely want to pick up. There is fragrance in this, which I know won't suit everyone, but I actually really enjoy it. It's kind of light, it's uplifting, perfect for a morning skincare routine. I love the fact it's in a pump tube and it dispenses with one pump just the perfect amount of product. You blend it into the skin, you can keep it in the fridge for that ultimate cooling experience and it's just really really nice. It's one of those products that I always look forward to applying. I think it's important to have a couple of those in your skincare routine to bring you know part of the wellness routine to your skincare routine. I love this, such a great product and for the price point like you can't argue with that. Now final we've got a cleanser and it's this, the Mad About Skin Gen jelly cleanser. Now I know that this will surprise no one that my own product and brand is in this list because I do genuinely use all the products day in day out but whilst the moisturizer and the serum tend to last me more than a month so I probably haven't used up more than 10 bottles or tubes of either of them in the past year the cleanser I get through a whole lot of that's because I practically use it for everything so obviously I use it as a cleanser on the skin but I also use it as a shaving balm because you just get that really nice slip. It doesn't strip and dry like a lot of shaving foams do. It just really gives you that nice close shave and all that tightness that sometimes you can get after you've rinsed everything off. I also have really delicate underarms so if I use you know shower gel that's maybe a little bit overly fragranced or a little bit harsh I tend to get a lot of irritation so I've actually just started using this under the arm as well. It gives you a really nice wash but zero sensitivity or irritation. Because I use this basically all over the place. I do get through like two tubes a month, but you know what? I'm kind of, I'm so proud of it. Obviously, I put my name on it, and so it's not a surprise that it's in this list, but it's one that I do use so 
so often and for so many different purposes. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my most repurchased skincare of 2022. Like I say, let me know in the comment section below what one product you bought most frequently in the past year and why, wherever you are in the world guys. Stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.